been a pretty rough summer for the Kern River Valley, and community leaders are now looking for ways to attract more visitors. 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez joins us in the studio tonight to tell us what they're doing to stay afloat. Amanda? Tim, Jackie, the low levels in the Kern River have really taken a toll on businesses this summer. That's why community leaders want people to know there's still plenty to do in the mountain towns. One day. That's all it takes to soak in the sights and sounds of the Kern River Valley. This is probably the finest river forest left in the arid southwest, or one of the, one of the finest uh, river forests left in the arid southwest United States. And uh, it's got some of the highest diversity of birds and other wildlife, and it's a, it's a real gem. If nature and the outdoors aren't calling your name, capture the area's beauty in an art class. We do pine needle baskets, gourds, um, some come to do their crochet just to be here. And for those needing a jolt of adventure, hop on a bike and go for a ride. So whether you're just wanting to go by a creek and hang out and relax or do something a little more exciting like get on a dirt bike and ride around the track or do some mountain climbing, there are uh, those opportunities on the forest. But fewer people took advantage of those opportunities this year because of the shorter rafting season. So Kernville is holding a Whiskey Flat Fall Festival to help struggling businesses stay open. This one is all about the pumpkins. So uh, we're really excited. We're going to encompass this park with all kinds of kitty attractions. We're going to have at Frandy Park, which is right across the river here, a giant haunted maze and a uh, whiskey flat encampment. It's also a way to showcase the nearly $2 million makeover that will be complete when crews finish the sidewalk through Riverside Park. And they're starting that project uh, uh, September 9th after Labor Day. And uh, by the time they finish, we should have a really, really wonderful looking little town. Community leaders hope that Fresh Look will attract a new crowd when they have that fall festival at the end of October. Tim, Jackie.